Well, it's 6.32 right now, a week after the winter storm blasted our state's power grid. Five ERCOT board members are expected to resign today. Yeah, they claimed publicly before the storm our electric infrastructure could handle it, but as we know, that wasn't the case. At least 26 people died in the Houston area during those ice-cold temperatures and massive power outages. ERCOT has been served with several lawsuits over the last several days. KPRC 2's Kathy Hernandez continues our coverage this morning. She's in southwest Houston with what our local leaders are saying about it. Kathy? Good morning. Many people saying it is not enough. Even one state representative saying it's just for show. That virtual board meeting is set for 10 o'clock this morning. ERCOT, the agency that manages most of the power grid in Texas, is facing multiple lawsuits after last week's deadly winter storm. We're bringing suit because just basic common sense planning and preparation could have stopped this from happening. Now five board members are set to resign today, including the board chairman and vice chairman. Both were sworn in only two weeks ago. In a letter, the other three say they're resigning after recent concerns about out-of-state ERCOP board members. Its leaders claimed our state's infrastructure could handle the historic winter storm. However, the agency mandated blackouts that left millions without power and heat for days. State Representative Gene Wu has been critical of ERCOT in the past and says there needs to be a thorough investigation. I want a list of generation sources that failed uh, and why they failed, how they failed, how long did they fail for, what was the solution, and what is going to be done about it to prevent it from happening again. Governor Greg Abbott has blamed ERCOT since last week and released a statement saying the lack of preparedness and transparency at ERCOT is unacceptable and I welcome these resignations. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner says Abbott himself is involved. Turner says, quote, the resignations do not change the fact that the PUC and the Texas legislature failed to provide oversight or enact common sense policy. And tomorrow, Texas lawmakers will hold hearings on ERCOT's failures. Again, that emergency board meeting is set for 10 o'clock this morning. Those five board members are expected to resign right after. We'll be watching and listening and keep you updated on air and online at click2houston.com. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. All right, Kathy, thank you.